To Christine's creativity cabinet. Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you a, a few last minute Christmas gifts that I'm going to be making with some shrink plastic. Um, I got the special kind of shrink plastic that you can put into your printer. And um, as you can uh, see here, I used it to print off some pictures of my sister's cat. She has a wonderful really cute cat named Max, and she's constantly posting on Facebook just really adorable pictures of him. So I decided that I, I'm going to um, take this wreath form that I got last year at Target's Bullseye's Playground. I don't know if they have them this year. I'm going to have to hold it like this and make it be vertical because that's where the, the hanger thing is right there. And I decided I would take some of those pictures that she posts on Facebook and put them on shrink plastic. And then I'd be, I'm going to be able to, you know, after they're shrunk, we're going to glue them on to, on to this form and it'll make a kind of a cute cat themed wreath. So let me, let me show you the ones that I've, I've printed off here. Um, I'm going to, these are transparent. So I'm going to put my drawing pad kind of behind them so that you can see the pictures here. Um, so isn't that cute? And I'm, let me just kind of go through and show you the different pictures that I have here. Um, I made these pretty big because when they shrink, um, I, I still want them to be fairly good size to go on the wreath. So that's why I, I printed them on um, kind of full sheets here. But you get to see them. So, isn't he just a cute cat? Oh, I love this one. He's just peeking out of this container here. Isn't that just adorable? Yeah. And then I have one more. And um, that's right here. And then I also made, I used the Acme Legable Maker, which I recommend it's on. It's um, just, you know, Google Acme Label Maker, and it allows you to make, make labels with different kinds of fonts. And I made one that says Max's Place. And in a minute, I'm going to show you what the other things are, are on here. This is, this is going to be for another gift for my brother-in-law and then an, another little thing that I'm going to put in my husband's Christmas stocking. So the uh, uh, first thing we're going to do is I've already you know, printed these on the shrink plastic. And now I'm going to um, go ahead and cut them out with some scissors. Some of these, the, the picture didn't show everything that I want, like, like this one here. Let me show you. Um, you can kind of see there that that got cut off. So what I'm going to do is I deliberately move this over on the page so that I can take some markers and kind of complete that before I shrink it. Um, and I'm going to do the same thing with the other one where he's in the little container here that I'm going to finish that. So um, that's going to be my first step here.
So um, I've got them all cut out and I'll let you see them, how they look. I'll cut out with, see I added a little more to that. Um, and I also added a little more to this. And the rest of them just needed to be cut out. So I'll let you see them. I also cut out Max's place. So next step will be, um, and I'll have to t go home for this step, is I will have to put them in the oven and have them shrink. A few minutes in the oven later. Okay, my images of Max have been baked and they turned out pretty cool. I'll let you guys see all, all of these. Nice. Baked up really well. And I think it doesn't look too bad the way that I kind of drew in parts of it on the edges. There he is there. That's where I drew that in. It looks all right. And then here's my label. I think I'm going to take my white Posca and do that on the back so that this um, the letters kind of pop a little bit more. And then I'm going to take my hot glue gun and glue it on to this wreath, which I got last year at the Target Bullseye's Playground, and that will make the wreath. So let's get started. The next last minute gift I'm going to make is going to be for my brother-in-law, James. That's, that's my sister's um, husband. He is very, very much into astronomy. And I'll do a quick, quick plug. He has a blog called The Cosmic Companion. So if any of you guys are into astro uh, uh, astronomy, you might want to look that up online. Just kind of Google it. Cosmic Companion and um, by James Maynard. And that's my brother-in-law. And he does a really, really good... Um, uh, blog that's about um, astronomy and explaining it in kind of layman's terms. But I'm, I'm going to make him a, I'm um, going to use my shrink plastic to make him a keychain that um, represents the solar system. So that, that's what all of these are here. So here we go. We've got the sun here. We've got Jupiter. We've got uh, Saturn. Um, we've got, um, this is Neptune. This is Uranus. Stop that snickering in the back. Um, and isn't Uranus, Uranus a beautiful planet? I think that's really beautiful. Um, and we've got our own planet Earth, and we've got Venus and Mars and Pluto. And yes, I know Pluto is officially not really a planet anymore, but um, I couldn't decide whether to include it or not, so I actually did a, a, a message James and said, um, do you consider Pl Pluto to be a planet? And he kind of said, well, I know it's not officially a planet, but I, I kind of like it still. So I decided I'd go ahead and include Pluto. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Posca pens and I'm going to make some cute little ka kawaii faces on these little planets. And then we're going to cut them out. And they're, these are all going to get a hole punch because they're going to go on a keychain. And I'm going to make him a keychain solar system. So I'll let you see that.
in the oven later. Okay, my planets of the solar system have been baked. I'll let you see how those turned out. See, there's the sun. It turned out pretty awesome, I think. Um, then we have Mercury, which is right here. He's tiny. It's Mercury. We have Venus. Kind of go like that. There we go. That's Venus. Then we have our lovely little planet Earth. Like that. We have uh, Mars. Mars isn't too happy. He's kind of angry. But that's because he's the angry red planet. Then we have Jupiter. There he is. And Saturn. And Uranus. Right there. He turned out cute. Neptune. And little teeny tiny Pluto right there. The last last minute gift, gift I'm going to make today is a little extra thing for my husband to put in his Christmas stocking. Uh, my husband, in case you guys don't already know, absolutely loves Godzilla and all those giant Japanese monsters. He's just a huge fan of that. Um, he's now working down at the county courthouse. He's in charge of adoptions. He's like the clerk in charge of adoptions for Douglas County in Nebraska. Um, and um, I always like for... Christmas and for his birthdays, I get him Godzilla t-shirts, and he loves those. But he can't wear a Godzilla t-shirt at his work, because they don't let him really wear t-shirts. Um, so I got him, don't tell, um, a really cool um, Godzilla tote bag, which he'd be able to take care of to work with. But I'm also getting a bunch of different things that he could like put on the tote bag or clip onto it. And one of these is going to be this. And I'm going to... Um, Basically cut this out and, and make a hole punch. It says, that Godzilla guy. He actually said that he wanted something that says, that Godzilla guy on it. So this is going to be turned into a, 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 a keychain that he can clip onto his backpack. And so all I really have to do here is, is finish cutting it out and punch out a hole. Some cutting and punching later. A few minutes in the oven later. And I'm also going to take this also turned out quite well. This is that Godzilla guy for my husband, and I'm going to make that into a keychain too.
and my last minute gifts are done. I think they turned out pretty great. This is going to be for my sister. This is the Max Wreath. <laughs> I think it turned out awesome. And then for my brother-in-law, he gets the entire solar system on a, on a keychain. And I think they, these planets look really cute. Let you kind of see that. I decided to put the two ends together. I think that looks a little bit more solar system-y. But those, there they all are. See, there's there's little Pluto and Neptune and Uranus and Saturn. Saturn doesn't want to show. Saturn, right there. Jupiter, Mars, Earth, Venus, can't even see that. And Mercury, barely see right up here, and then the sun is right there. There's the sun. Isn't that cute? And then I got uh, that Godzilla guy keychain key for my husband. So I hope you all enjoyed watching this, and it might it may have inspired you. Um, if you're at the very last minute to uh, maybe make some Christmas gifts and I'll see you in my next video.